It was summer of 1559. King Henry II of France was celebrating the peace of Chateau Cambrés after the long battle with Habsburgs of Austria. It is also time to celebrate the marriage of his daughter, Elizabeth of Forlay, to King Philip II of Spain. At age 40, King Henry was the King of France, father-in-law to King of Spain and Queen of Scots. He had an intelligent wife and several beautiful mistresses. He had four sons and three daughters and was in great health. Life could not be better. Although, he was told that he will soon die by a weird-looking doctor called Nostradamus. But who would believe such a thing? However, he soon died in a jousting match with Gabriel Montgomery, the captain of his Scottish guard. Surprisingly, his widow, Queen Catherine de' Medici, did not blame Nostradamus for his death, but she actually continued relying on his advice till his death in 1566. That prophecy was actually the one that brought fame to the world's most famous prophet, Nostradamus. Let's see what was said in that quatrain. Quatrain 1-35 The young lion will overcome the old one in the field of combat in a single battle. He will pierce his eye through a golden cage. Two wounds made one. Then he died a cruel death. It was said that King Henry's helmet looked like a golden cage, and he had two wounds, one in the eyes and one in the temple, and both Comrade de Montgomery and King Henry had shields with embossed lions. Well, well, well. Even though I'm a big fan of Nostradamus, I have to say I'm not totally impressed. Lion was the most popular symbol during that time, and you can hardly find one coat of arms without it. Do you think anyone would put a pig or a mouse on their shield? And Montgomery is only six years younger than King Henry. How can you say it is a prophecy fulfilled, calling the 40-year-old king an old lion, while calling his 34-year Lord Guard a young one? But Nostradamus did warn them about this before the tragedy took place. No wonder Queen Catherine appreciated his service and kept him by her side. Since then, every film and book called Nostradamus the Great Seer praised his accurate prediction on Napoleon and Hitler, but their names were spelt wrong and the details were missing. Nostradamus has 942 quatrains. It is not hard to find a vague quatrain that sounded like what you wanted it to be. Great Seer? I'm not sure. However, my perception on Nostradamus changed when I started reading his quatrain carefully. Unlike anyone else before me, I looked for clusters of quatrains grouped together. It is easy to find one quatrain and twist it in any way you want, but will you believe me more if I can find a cluster of quatrains predicting related events? Believe me, that was not easy, but I found clusters and clusters of quatrain on wars, JFK assassination, ISIS, French Revolution, the list goes on and on, and I only just started a few months ago. Do you still want to call me stretching? Don't believe me. Look for wars in his Book of Prophecy, Century One. It started with the French Revolution and then went on to cover almost every war for the last 500 years. Then Century Two was about doomsday. His quatrains about people are more scattered, but the details were so stunning it's hard to miss. 
like Queen Mary of Scots, Queen Catherine de' Medici, King Louis XVI, President Lincoln, and JFK. Basically, it was so detailed and precise, you would think you were reading a news article instead of a 500-year-old prophecy. While reading the entire book of prophecy, I can't help notice many quatrains about the 2016 U.S. election and President Trump. First, I was quite confused. Why did Nostradamus write so much about the 45th President of the United States? He had only 942 quatrains. If Nostradamus wished to report political news, then he probably would want to report the 67th French ruler first before moving to the 45th U.S. election. However, the answer soon became clear. He must warn us what is in store for us. What may happen may change the world forever. Please note that I am not taking a political stand because this is about a 500-year-old prophecy. Anyone can convincingly call this decode fake news but I would feel horrible if I didn't share what I found with you. Feel free to reach your own conclusions. I never said I'm right, but I believe these quatrains need to be looked at carefully. I mean, before it's too late. Let's start with Century 1, Quatrain 39. At night, the last one will be strangled in his bed because he became too involved with the blonde heir elect. The empire is enslaved with three men substituted. He is put to death with neither letter nor packet read. Then the next quatrain, number 40, must also be about President Trump. It reads, The false trumpet concealing madness will cause Byzantinum to change its laws. From Egypt, there will go for a man who wants the edict withdrawn, changing money and standards. Trumpet is likely Trump spelled Nostradamus' way. I first thought there is no way anyone can enslave an empire with only three men substituted. And then I realized that we have three new Supreme Court justices acting together. We can change the country. No one knows how Justice Anton Scali died. But Trump did go nuclear and change the confirmation process. And although we only have one new Supreme Court justice, do you know how many cabinet members were changed in the last several months? Some people also felt Century 5 Quatrain 20 is about President Trump. The false message about the rigged election to run through the city stopping the broken pack. Voices bought. Chapel stained with blood. The empire contracted to another one. Other than terror attacks, hurricanes, earthquakes, racial tensions, what else dominated the airwaves this year? Believe it or not, we are still talking about the rigged election 10 months after the election was said and done. Facebook just announced about turning over the Russian ads. Is that the voice bot? Although I may have my own interpretation on these quatrains, several other people thought those were about President Trump. However, what I'm about to show you was not linked to the current time at least until now. Century 8, Quatrain number 65. The old man disappointed in his main hope will attend to the leadership of his empire. 20 months he will hold rule with great force, a tyrant, cruel, giving way to one worse. President Trump is 71, is that old? Well, based on what I found in his two-year-old chart, he ranked 30 in about 200 world leaders. However, he is the oldest among developed countries. I mean, if you don't count Queen Elizabeth. This one offers a clear timeline. He will leave office in August 2018. 
However, sadly, someone worse will take his place. But is it fair to pin this quatrain to President Trump? Please let me know if you found an old world leader that left office in 20 months. Actually, UK's Jeremy Corbyn stepped down in just 20 months. He was 66 when he became the Prime Minister. But can we call him a tyrant? Not really. And I doubt if many people think his successor, Theresa May, is much worse than him. President Trump is older, and he did fail on every agenda since he took office, which we can say he is disappointed in his main hope. He did attain to the leadership of his empire, but is he a cruel tyrant? He would be if he fires nukes and started a war. Will that happen? But since I believe related quatrains appear in clusters, let's check on if there are any clues on the quatrain before it. Century 8, quatrain 64. The infants transported into the islands. Two of seven will be in despair. Those of the soil will be supported by it. The name shovel taken, the hope of legions fails. Do you think this quatrain describes precisely what happened after the 2017 hurricane season? Some quatrains give out timeline, and I think this one helps us confirm what, when, and where, and before the next devastating event takes place. Is this about the Florida Keys, or the U.S. Caribbean Islands? Hurricane Irma and Maria destroyed most homes in U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. What is two out of seven? Which two out of seven? I think the key to solve this puzzle is the word leagues. United States has 16 territories, but some are small with no residents. Wikipedia page shows seven territories with pictures, with Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands being the two biggest. Could this be the two out of seven Nostradamus was talking about? Are those islanders in despair? Of course. For this quatrain to be right, actions taken by the United States government must fall short of the people's expectation. Will that happen? We will soon know. During my search, I found another interesting quatrain. Century 9, Quatrain 31. The tiny island of St. George have sunk. Drowsy with peace, war will arise. At Easter in the temple, abyss is opened. We know the hurricanes devastated St. Thomas, St. Croix, and St. John. But St. George was spared. But watch out for St. George in the future. When St. George is half gone, war will follow and that could be the beginning of a catastrophe none of us is ready for. It suffered serious damage in 2004 after Hurricane Ivan, but was spared this time. However, the faint of St. George seems to signal the end days to come. I know you're probably disappointed in what we found so far. Nostradamus, get to the point, please. We already voted President Trump to office, and there's nothing much we can do to stop hurricanes. Tell us something we don't know. Tell us something we can still do something about. Century 6, Quatrain 33. Nostradamus predicted his last hand through sanguinary. He will be unable to protect himself by sea. Between two rivers he will fear the military hand. The black and irate one will make him rue it. I guess you still don't get it, right? Let's look at the quatrain next to this, number 34. The device of flying fire will come to trouble the great besieged chief. Within there will be such sedation that the prolific eight one will despair. 
Do you know what sanguinary means? It means causing much bloodshed. How about rue? Search and you will find it means regret. How about besieged? Unindated by large numbers of requests or complaints. What's the meaning of prolificate? It is recklessly extravagant or wasteful in the use of resources. So in plain English, Quatrain 633 meant, his decision will lead to a massive bloody end. Attacks to him will come through the ocean. The spot of military attack will be between the two rivers. The angry evil one will make him regret his decision. Century 6 Quatrain 33 sounded like Kim Jong Un's shouting insults finally get President Trump to press the nuclear button. And that is a decision that will lead to retaliation and a bloody nuclear war. It may be a decision we will look back and regret and wish more diplomacy had worked before it was too late. While Quatrain 34 sounded even worse, Let's ask ourselves, what is the device of flying fire? Come on, it's the missiles, and it will come to trouble the great chief, besieged by his Russian investigation. The racial conflicts, the hurricane relief needed, and the dead ceiling crashing down on him. Sedation meant rebellion from inside, but is it inside North Korea or inside the United States? I predicted a coup may topple Kim Jong-un, could the 3.9 earthquake under Pyongyang someone in North Korea destroying their nukes? I wouldn't be surprised if someone in North Korea took President Trump's warning seriously and decided to save themselves and the rest of the world. Of course, mainstream media called that a naturally occurring earthquake. And whatever the reckless action from which side will for sure bring an end to all of us. Pretty scary, right? But the question remains, if the U.S. will attack or be attacked first. Ironically, the quatrain description could fit both President Trump and Kim Jong-un, and ironically, both Washington, D.C. and Pyongyang are between two rivers. If I were to guess, it would be President Trump who will order military strikes against North Korea, which U.S. will win after heavy loss of life on both sides and being blamed for starting the war. President Trump will leave office in 20 months, but the one taking his baton will be worse than him. Natural disasters will hit us like never-ending soap opera. The U.S. will fail to address the needs of three million homeless U.S. citizens on those islands. So what can we do? We can pray for a peaceful resolution. And of course, if you are the few people President Trump follows on Twitter, please tell him to think carefully before pressing that nuclear button. This is Laura Meadows. Thank you for watching.